Hi everybody, this video I'm going to talk about how long I've been dealing with my mental illness, what I started out with, what I am now, and what I've learned, how I cope, how I deal with it on a daily basis, just pretty much anything that I can come up with in this video. I found out that I had bipolar disorder the year of my graduation when I was 18 years old. It was three weeks before graduation, and I found out that I had bipolar disorder um, by having a breakdown and being admitted to a mental hospital. Luckily, I got out and graduated. Luckily, um, luckily I had paperwork, you know, like a, a consent that I went out of school for, uh, excuse me, the reason of that. I guess the day that I found out, my teachers and stuff noticed that I wasn't acting like myself. And they called my counselor to talk to my parents about it. And that's when I got, that's when I found out that I had bipolar disorder. Um, I've been in and out of psych hospital since then. Um, the longest I've been out right now is, it's been about three years since I've been out. And, yeah. Um... I found out like six or seven months ago that I have schizophrenia disorder, which is schizophrenia and bipolar, which makes a lot of sense because when I'm in a manic state and everything, I have delusions and I'm out of touch with reality and I'm just not myself off my medication. I keep on my medication for a while, like before I have my kid and everything, I kind of toyed with my medications because I didn't want to take them. And I kind of liked how I felt off of them, you know, the high of Manny and all that. But since I have my child and experiences that I've had with Manny and the down point of it and all the bad stuff that happens, I've learned to stay on my medications and not toy with my medications ever. I see my psych doctor and I get in a Vegas shock every four weeks and take other medications. Um, I found out last breakdown that I have really bad depression problems, which I wasn't surprised of that. But I was diagnosed with depression as well. I also have anxiety on top of it. Um, I've had panic attacks, um, all kinds of things. Um, been tied up to a bed, um, before and have had many bad experiences in hospitals and good experiences in hospitals. Um... I've, I'm violent off my medication, which is really bad. That's another reason why I stay on my medication. I've learned to work on my anger and how I react to things and how I do things. And I haven't been violent for a, a while, like a long time. Um, but um, I've just learned that there's ups and downs with, with mental illness. And I've learned just to try to, like... When I get depressed, like, when things trigger my depression, my mind sometimes, like, makes me feel worthless and not good enough and a failure and all that. And if I'm treated a certain way, I get very depressed and I just get really, like, worthless feelings and all that. The way that I'm treated. But, um, I'm not treated bad all the time, but sometimes I am. Um, but I've just learned to just cope with my depression, my part of depression. Is what I see the most with my illness with on my medication. I also get anxiety a lot too. Um, so, but um, I hear voices sometimes, mostly like things that I can't clearly understand what they're saying. Like kind of like mom, mom, like people talking from afar that you can't understand what they're saying. But um, I have recently heard a voice say my name. And that was scary as hell. Um, so, my doctor told me to, you know, make make sure to let her know if it happens again. And, um, yeah, I've just dealt with it, you know, all this time. And I'm 33 now, and there's ups and downs with it. You know, there's days when I'm just so depressed. There's days when I'm just upset. I get upset very easily. Um, I've been working on my anger for a long time. I yell a lot more than anything. Um, I don't have violent outbursts or anything like that. I just get upset very easily and <coughs> yell a lot. 
and sometimes my kid and things drive me crazy. Sometimes I get annoyed very easily. Sometimes things irritate me very easily. <coughs> but it's a challenge and it's sadly something that I have to live with and people with mental illness have to live with for the rest of their lives. Um, it's <coughs> a chemical imbalance in your brain. It's working with your brain. So, of course, it's going to be hard. <coughs> Sorry, I have like a tickle in my throat. But yeah, so thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Alright, bye.